how to fulfill orders on Shopify. Hey guys, welcome back. Today we'll be doing a quick look at how you can fulfill orders on Shopify. So let's get into it. Now, Shopify is the primary platform that most new business owners use whenever they are launching their own personal e-commerce website. And it is popular for a reason. Shopify enables you to use the tools and manage your products and optimize sales in an efficient manner. Plus, Shopify is made specifically for e-commerce, so they really help you in providing with converting themes that actually make your product sell more. So to be able to fulfill orders on Shopify is going to be a different process depending on what kind of store you have. Now, before you get into fulfillment, you need to make sure that your store has been launched. So make sure that you have removed the password on your e-commerce store like I have over here and you have added your product onto your store. Then another very essential part of setting up your store is enabling payments. So you want to go into settings and you want to make sure that you have your checkout set up. So in your checkout, you can obviously require the specific items that you require for shipping the item to your customer or you know the required input fields and then your payment option. So you need to make sure that you have set up your payment getaways. You can also set up manual payment getaways such as cash on delivery, bank deposits, money orders, or a custom payment method but you also have your basic getaways such as credit card or debit cards. So once you have completed all of these steps, you can move towards the fulfillment section. So let's go on ahead, go to our Shopify store over here. And I have just created, you know, a sample product and I'm going to show you guys how the ordering or point of sale system is. So now I'm just going to click on checkout over here. And now I can just continue to payment like this. Then I have credit card. I also have cash and delivery. I have my billing address and I can just click on complete order over here. And just like that, in a few simple steps, your order will be completed. But this is the end that the customer will see. As soon as the customer reaches this section, you will get your order in your Shopify dashboard. So your order fulfillment process is going to vary from here. Now. Once you have a order in your order section, you can open this order up and you will be able to see the item and the quantity of items. You'll be able to see your unfulfilled or pending orders. Now, to fulfill a order, you have to click on fulfill items, but what does this really mean and how can you proceed with your fulfillment? Now, with any order, it will depend whether or not you are dropshipping products. So if you're dropshipping products, you're going to forward your order to your basic supplier. If you are using something like Deezer's or CJ dropshipping, obviously that process is going to be automated. But if you're doing fulfillment yourself, if you're warehousing products yourself and fulfilling them yourself, your process is going to be different. Now, you might even want to split the fulfillment. Let's say certain uh, products are ready to deliver and certain products that you sell are customized. So they might take longer for those products to be delivered. So you can click on split fulfillment and then you can choose one item that you want to fulfill first and the second later. You can also send your customer emails that their order would be split up and they would be getting two deliveries instead of one. So below that you have your payment terms and you can add payment terms as well. You can click on collect payment or just mark it as paid. Although this order was cash on delivery, I can mark it as paid. Now this order will be marked in only unfulfilled. However, it will be marked as paid. Now, once you have your order and you are sure this is not a fraudulent order, usually Shopify does give you alerts when a order is potentially fraudulent. So that is another great thing about using Shopify. But if you also have some other issues, for example, you are doing dropshipping and but you're warehousing items yourself, but you run out of the particular items that this person has ordered. So you can click on hold fulfillment and you can add a reason. So let's say the inventory is out of stock, you have high risk of fraud, address incorrect, evading payment or other reasons as well. So there can be any number of reasons why you might not be fulfilling orders. 
but if you are going to fulfill it, you can click on fulfill items over here, and then you will enter the tracking information that you have sent out the order with. So the courier number and the shipping carrier. Usually with any kind of courier, UPS, DHL, or any kind of postal service that you are using, you are going to get a tracking number. You want to use that tracking number and input it for the customer. So I'm just entering a random number. And then you have multiple different carrier options that you have available. Now, depending on the location of your business, your UPS or, you know, your postal services are going to differ. So you can select the postal service that applies to you. So I'm just going to click on other over here. And then you can click on uh, this section over here, which is the tracking URL. So you can just copy and paste the tracking URL that you receive from your courier. Usually each courier website within any country has their own website where you can input their own tracking numbers and track from there. So you can just copy and paste that URL link over here and customers can copy their traffic, uh, their tracking number and track it on the native website of the shipping carrier. You can also create a widget of the shipping carrier and import that onto your own website. However, those are just extra steps that you really don't need. Now, after that, you want to send shipment details to your customer now, which is basically going to enable you to send an email to your customer and it will just provide them with the basic shipping info. And after that, I'm just going to click on fulfill items. And just like that, our items have now been fulfilled. So the order is now completed on my side and the delivery status is pending. Now, once you have your delivery status pending, you can also choose to remove orders or, you know, move them to the closed orders section. Any item or any order that is paid and fulfilled will be moved to the closed orders. However, if you ever have issues with closed orders, you can create a new view, which might be your... So you can create a new section or new view that might be your returns or exchange or any kind of potential issues uh, that your customers might be facing and you can add those orders over here. So in this way, you can easily fulfill your orders on Shopify. It's easy, effective and simple. Plus, it allows you to manage your business very easily. But if you are using a dropshipping supplier, all you have to do is fulfill your items and just create a automation, usually with Deezers or with uh, any other dropshipping supplier store that you link directly to Shopify. You do have the automation process of any order that is uh, automatic. So any order that is prepaid gets automatically fulfilled. You can choose your fulfillment terms as well. And you can also have, uh, you know, other actions such as print order page, print packing slips, your returns, refunds, and more, even after your order is fulfilled. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I will catch you guys in the next video.